Hello everyone, please welcome and join me Easy Steps Cooking. Please click on the bell icon. You will get all the notification of my new videos and let's get started. Look at this. Very tasty, very delicious. Serve with ketchup. Mmm. Yum. Super tasty. You don't want to cook too long. Today, I'm going to share with you very tasty and delicious deep fried salmon recipe. I have a fresh salmon fillet. I'm going to cut it into smaller pieces. I'll be using dry ingredients, garlic powder, ground ginger, salt, deggy milk. These are all one teaspoon each, quarter cup cornstarch, half cup all-purpose flour, which is maida, and breadcrumb, half cup. Vegetable oil for frying. So the first thing will be, we're going to cut open the salmon fillet and this is three pound salmon and look at this beautiful with the paper towel just make sure that you don't need to wash it this is washed and packaged we're going to cut into smaller pieces so we'll cut it like this this is our deep fryer we're going to use that so I'll make sure that we cut into about this size. This is a perfect size. This is a good size. This salmon is skinless and boneless. But you always check if there is any bone, you take it out. If you have a big fryer, then this is a perfect piece. I'll cut it in half. So this is a good size of salmon pieces. Get a mixing bowl, add breadcrumb, add all-purpose flour, which is maida, cornstarch, garlic powder, ginger powder, salt, deggy milk. This is the deggy milk I'm using it. If you don't have it, use a paprika. Mix it well. Once it's nicely combined, this is all ready. Now on this step I wanted to share with you, add vegetable oil, couple of teaspoon oil. The whole reason I'm doing it, when we're going to use our dry ingredients, they're going to stick better. Nicely coated. So as you can see, the fish is nicely coated. Now we'll place it in dry ingredient and we're going to turn it over and look at this it's nicely coated so once it's nicely coated get another plate place it on a plate I'll keep continuing doing the same thing I'll show you one more and then just turn it over and then on the side just do like this tap it once it's nicely coated on both sides then we'll take it out in a separate plate and look at the nice coating that's the tip just add a couple teaspoon vegetable oil I have my fryer ready and we'll fill up the oil I'll add vegetable oil we're going to keep it on the max level I'll start it And I kept the temperature 375 degree Fahrenheit. The salmon fillet is all ready. So we're going to deep fry these. The oil is fully heated up. So be careful when you're deep frying, don't burn yourself. Good thing about this basket, we can pull this one up like this. So I'll place it right there and then we'll put it in. And as it started, we're going to pull it again and I'll place the second piece, put it down. I'll lift up again and I'll place the third piece. We'll put it down again. This is a good thing about the basket. You can pull up. This way the pieces don't get stick to each other. Now we're going to put it down. And on this one we need to, since this piece is big, we're going to make sure we get the piece and turn it slowly, just like that. 
So now we're going to deep fry for five minutes or until it's fully cooked. And let me show you now, cooking for three minutes. And now we can turn these pieces over like this. Look at the beautiful coating. The salmon don't take that long to cook. The piece is looking so good. You can see, and we can put it back in. You really don't need to move around. This is the only purpose of showing a video. I'm taking it out, pulling it, and showing you each side. Otherwise, when you're cooking at home, you just put it in and let it cook. This is exactly four minutes. And look at this. Salmon looking really nice. And I'm going to give one more minute. If you want to make it more crunchy, then do it a little longer. Very good indication if you're putting a smaller pieces like this one we put it, it started to float. That means the salmon is fully cooked. So I'm going to take it out. Before you take it out, I'm going to leave it here so that it, all the oil can drain out. You can hear the crunchiness. Very crunchy. So we're going to pull these out on a plate. Get a paper towel. So if there is any extra oil, it can soak up extra oil. Perfect. I'll place it the basket back again. And now we're going to put the other pieces. So we'll place it right in there. Same process, we're going to let it cook until it's fully cooked. Look at these, very delicious. The second batch is ready as well. If you take a look, this is perfectly, very nice color. As you can hear the, very crunchy. If you're a seafood lover and you love to eat salmon and you haven't tried the deep fried salmon, please try it and let me share with you. Very tasty and delicious deep fried salmon fish. Please try it and you're going to like it. As you see, it's so easy to make and it's super tasty and super delicious. So if you like this recipe, like always, like, share and subscribe Easy Steps Cooking. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.